Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. As y'all see in the thumbnail and in the title, I just got my first project car, which is gonna be my slab. Um, for y'all that don't know what a slab is out here in Houston, it's an acronym that stands for slow, loud, and banging. Uh, y'all probably seen like the rims with the, the that stick out. Probably my old videos, they call swingers. Probably my old videos when I had the car I'm in now on swingers. This was when I was younger. But I decided that like everybody that grew up in the urban area of Houston, and know about swingers. I always had a dream of getting getting some and building a slab, candy paint, or everything, music, everything. So this has been my dream as a kid. So I was in debate on what I was gonna do. If I was gonna go with the Monte Carlo, more of a bumper, I mean a plastic bumper, which is like a newer car, you know, because the new cars are made out of plastic, so they call them plastic bumpers. If I was gonna go old school, and I always wanted a, a slant back, you know. Seville so I didn't have the knowledge of what I thought every Cadillac just had the North Star entrance but the North Star has been coming into probably like 2000 so I was like well once I found out I was like well I might get a lack because I always I'm not going to I'm not going to say this because then this will be giving away what my, my trunk sign going to say but I always let's just say I wanted a Cadillac but I was just afraid of the North Star Motors so I finally decided, I was like, you know what, after I found out that not every Cadillac has a North Star, Mo North Star motor. So I was like, well, let me go ahead and try this out, you know. So I started looking at the Seville's. I was looking at like an 88, 89 Seville, 90 Seville. And then I seen the Eldorado, Eldog, the Baritz. I was like, ooh, it's a coupe. You know, Seville's a four door. The Eldorado's is two doors. You know, quote unquote, the baby lap. And if you guys don't know where I'm going, I'm, I'm heading to uh, O'Reilly right now, so that's why the camera bouncing around and stuff like that. But, so I was like, let me go ahead and go get this L Dog. So I was still talking to a guy that had one in, what is it, Tyler, Texas or somewhere? It was basically like close to Austin. That deal fell through. That was an 88. Then there was a dude in, dude out here in Houston who had one, an 88, same color, um, but he was BSing. I think it wasn't his car, it was his friend's car. He listed it on Facebook Marketplace and was selling it. So I was like, I was talking to Project. I was like, bro, I think my company, his was wrecked. It had front end damage. He said it was a hit and run and things of that nature. I'm like, you got the title? He's like, yeah, yeah I got the title. I'm like, okay, well, let's, let me leak up. I got some bread for you right now. That fell through. So I seen one in DeSoto, Texas, which is close to Dallas. It's pretty much like if you're from Houston, how. Sugarland and Houston is or Sugarland and Richmond is like that. So I seen it. It looked it horrible from the pictures. But one of my brothers that's a mechanic, he actually moved to Maryland. My nose all stopped the allergies I hear. It like it's about to rain. But he told me, he said, Man, get you a car. He's like, he's like, you're gonna redo the interior anyways. He's like, just make sure he's like, if I was you, I'll get something that's running. A motor that's running. He was like, because at least you know you're not starting off in the hole. I was like, you know, I was like, you know what, you're right. That's for real. I was like, yeah, you know what, you're right. So, long story short, we went out there, drove three hours, three almost four hours out there um, to see it. I got one of the brothers. He had Les Barres truck and trailer, and me and my boy Lee. We went out there. Lee, the house is where I'm actually keeping the car at. So. Told me you just park it over there, whatever. So, long story short, I'm heading to O'Reilly to pick up some parts. I was working on it last night. I've been meaning to make this video for the longest, but I keep forgetting my camera stuff just keep happening. And just look at this rain, bro. Look at the sky. This is crazy. So, I was meaning to uh, make this video for y'all a long time ago, but I keep getting distracted. Things keep happening. I just don't pick up the camera. So, yesterday we worked on it. Um, we didn't, we didn't finish for working on it until probably like 12 o'clock. We changed the, the oil, oil filter, air filter. Uh, installed a new cooling reservoir because the cooling reservoir that was on it was cracked. And they didn't put the right screws in. So the cooling reservoir on that car sits, I'll show y'all when I get to it, but it sits next to... I'm trying to see if these boys delivering my braces. That's why I'm going to stop by at the house. But they... um. It's installed next to the alternator pulley. 
So, with the screws not being in it, it fell and it was rumbling against the alternator pulley, which caused it to crack. So, I had a hard time. I went to AutoZone, bought one that was a quote unquote universal fit. The thing was like like a, a square, just match a little bitty square. The cool reservoir on that car is huge. So, I'm like, okay, well, I know the Seville, Eldorado, Tornado, the Riviera, all of them are like the same body style. They're all GM cars. So I was like, you know what, let me see. But the thing is, so I started looking, couldn't find the 86. I, I lied, I ordered one from a GM website. This rain's coming out hard. I ordered one from a GM website. I was like, okay, it's supposed to be OEM, it will be perfect. I go home, go back, go to Arizona, return the one I bought, come back home, find out they canceled my order because it's discontinued, which you understand, it's the car from 86. So, I go searching, can't find none on eBay. So I was like, you know, let me try, like, I know that they all the same body style, let me try a Riviera. So I found one, a 1988 Riviera Cooler Reservoir. I, I was like, uh, do one of like 70 bucks before I talk it down to like 40. Um, so I get it for like 53 to ship it. And, um, I don't know if y'all can hear me, the rain coming out hard. But, so we installed it yesterday, it works, everything's good. We, um, so well, I was gonna change out the upper and lower radiator holes, but come to find out the bottom radiator holes was recently changed, so that's good. I changed the upper one to the upper one like it was about to burst. I changed that one yesterday, and then um, took off to where, find out where the thermostat was, mechanism. But once we start the car up and try to flush the radiator and everything, come to find out the housing doesn't have a gasket on it. So the water was just pouring out right there. We didn't use cool, we just said water. So the water was pouring out right there. So okay, figure that out. So now I'm heading to O'Reilly to get the uh, housing, a new housing for it and the gasket. Because the housing was all corroded. And like I said, ooh, ooh breaks on that car. Bang. She about to run to the back of that truck. But so I'm just going to document everything that I do with this car. Once again, this is, I'm not a mechanic. The brother household QA is not a mechanic. The person next to him is a mechanic. So if anything gets too tough, we're gonna let him do it. But what's on the agenda today <coughs> is the front brakes. Because my back brakes never came in. So if this weather keep up, I ain't going, I ain't gonna lie. I'm just gonna stay home and just wait till next weekend. But I figured let me go to O'Reilly, pick up the housing gas and another thing of brake fluid. Cause I need to bleed those brakes, brake lines. But I haven't bought the machine. I really don't feel like buying the machine. I've been buying car parts like crazy, man. Like, it's crazy. So I didn't, but this is a new purchase, y'all. New project whip. 1986 Cadillac Eldorado Brits. Cool. Two, though. She starts up everything. As y'all see, I took the seat out. Shouldn't have took that seat out, but it is what it is. Uh, I got some work to do to her. Today we're gonna be doing the front back brakes and bleeding the brake lines and putting the new head gasket on most likely next week. I'm gonna take her out for a little spin next week, but I'm gonna spin the block probably today and get her going but as y'all know man i ain't been on this youtube stuff in a minute so i'm kind of rusty yeah it got the 4100 ht 4100 v8 in it Let's see if y'all can see that uh i changed the reservoir this was last week changed the reservoir changed the upper radiator hose because my old one was like about the puncture right here about to go give out um changed the oil and found out that the radiator gasket the radiator i mean thermostat housing gasket is all messed up where is that at? it's underneath here yeah it's underneath there this is what i'm changing the one that's on there is all corroded all in here and it doesn't have a gasket come on focus for me yeah, so it doesn't have a gasket. It's all corroded. Huh? You said what? Yeah. 
So this is what's gonna be changed today. I need to figure out. Got my boots on today. I need to figure out what the hell this is. Replace filter with A2246 for frequency of service. C owner's manual. Spark plug, AC spark plug. To check that, but yeah. So we can get to it and I'll come back to you. So we ran into some issues. For one, I left the brake pads at home today. So we're not gonna be able to finish the bank brakes. For two, ran into another issue where it looks like I might need a new caliber because the piston thing then broke and I don't know. Like I said, we ain't no mechanic, so we just doing the basic stuff that we know how to do. So um what we're going to do or we're going to come back and do this gasket housing up here from where it's leaking at. Uh where is it at? Right here. It's up under here where my finger is. We gotta take this off. But we're gonna do that. But I'm about to go ahead and screw the plates on. My plates came in, like I told y'all. But let me show y'all. So these are the old brake pads that was on the back. This one right here look like it's a little bit, a little bit of focus. All right, these damn flies flying around and shit. Ooh. So it's like it's a little bit left on this one. This one right here was completely done. So, but yeah, it's the rotor. Caliber for the piston for the caliber is done. As y'all see, it's back there. So I'm gonna have to order. I'm gonna order a new caliber. So it's gonna be a next week's job. Should be back on the road, hopefully. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna check the other side, see if it's bad. And if it's bad, then I know I need to order two. If not, just order one and be done with it. We're gonna do the front. We're just not gonna bleed the brakes. We're just gonna do the front and call it a uh, what you call it. So, like I said, man, I'm gonna show y'all the pitfalls, the good, the bad, the ugly, everything with this car. Uh, like I said, my goal. That light is on the time. Turn these lights off. So my goal is to put some swingers on this thing. 15 inch G12s. As y'all seen, I have the Impala on swingers. I still got them swingers too. But those are done. Okay, so yeah. Come to find out this seat actually works too. See look. Oh, I took the key out so it didn't work. But this thing, this seat actually works. I, well, now I'm wondering did that seat work? But we never know. I just gotta learn from my mistakes on that one. But, so yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up. I'm about to put these plates on. I'm gonna put my front plate in the front. Uh, <clears throat> another issue I was having, I'm gonna get the brakes done. I'm probably gonna take it to the house, take it to my house wash it up clean the inside stuff like that to bring it back over here and then um we're gonna have a mechanic stay next door we might have him come out and when he get home hopefully get home i'll be here have him look at it see if anything's wrong like i said we don't see anything else wrong with it motor, motor blow good that's actually a um a swap engine i found the papers in the car when i bought it still have the owner man owner manual in it um it's pretty much everything dude like the people that they took care of the car to a certain point then they didn't so the story behind the car is the person the original man who bought it he bought it from the dealership and once he died they uh someone else in the family inherited the car and then they just had it ever since then they kept the registration up on it um, inspections so that's how i know i don't know exactly how many miles is on it but i kind of can gauge because every inspection they put about 2,000 3,000 miles on the car so the person who I bought it from said it's about 80,000 but like I said the clusters out on it so I don't know what's the exact everything so it is what it is we're gonna figure I'm gonna eventually if I can get these brakes done next weekend where I can drive it then I can try to start working on this cluster what's, what's, what's the issue with that once I get that done then I'm gonna change the windshield out. The guy called me for 170 for a windshield. I called his head, come over here and do it. Let him do that. Boom, I'm done. Then my next thing will be probably some tent and then uh, interior, 
man. Start working on like getting the paint and all that stuff. Because like I said, as long as the motor good, I'm good. But my main thing now is get that cluster. Oh, I gotta get the seat. But which qualifies on the interior. But like I said, I have to get that cluster fixed. Because the cluster is affecting the whatever's going on with the cluster is affecting the AC. Because the AC is not getting enough power. The vehicle information center is not getting no power either. And these cars came with like you know how your car now it'll show like a check engine light and then you have to plug up the machine to get the code. Cadillacs in this time have a vehicle information center, which I'll show y'all. It's supposed to read the codes that the car has for you. So you don't have to you don't have to worry about hooking up to a machine and getting all that stuff. So I'll show y'all that now. So supposed to be here like if it's a cold it'll read right here but yeah like i said the ac is not getting no power none of that so as a matter of fact i'll turn it on so y'all can hit this baby pure so yeah, it comes with the two keys square key is for the engine circle is for the doors old school radio in this thing Tell tell them I got the radio on. <laughs> See, I got the radio on. Motor. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh probably pick the video before we leave, before we done. Be done or whatever. So, if you got a little bit, a little bit sweaty, dirty.